You have wondered why in the drama Joy of Life the Emperor of King is always afraid of hiding in the palace and not daring to go out? Let's find the real reason in this video with Bunny C. Biz. The first thing was Yi King Mai's box. Inside the box that Yi King Mai left behind contained a transcendent item beyond the imagination of people of that era. It is a weapon from modern times. In fact, in season 1 of Joy of Life, when Fan Shan opened this box, the existence of this mysterious weapon was discovered. However, in Joy of Life 1 the director filmed quite cautiously by only showing the audience part of the gun muzzle. The reason why Emperor of King feared this weapon was because Yi King Mai and Emperor of King originally loved each other. When they were together, Emperor of King watched Yi King Mai's actions and knew of the terrible power, the horror of that mysterious gun. At that time, Yi King Mai used this weapon and killed two princes of the King Kingdom, while the Emperor of King then hid in the darkness and witnessed the entire incident. That's why the Emperor of King always had a fear hanging over the mysterious weapon in Yi King Mai's hand. Even when he dreamed, he saw himself being killed by this weapon for no reason. So after Yi King Mai died, the Emperor of King frantically sent people to search for that box. However, he could not find the box and only found the key. The Emperor of King entrusted the key to his mother for safekeeping. Even so, he could not feel secure in his heart. Every time he go out he always feel like something is aiming at his head. That is the reason why the Emperor of King locked himself in the palace all his life and did not dare to go out. The second thing that made the Emperor of King afraid to go out was Wu Zhu. Wu Zhu is truly what? The Emperor of King is the scariest thing in this world. Because Wu Zhu is the robot that Yi King Mai took with her out of the temple. Wu Zhu possesses a powerful algorithm that can kill people with just one fatal blow. In the past when Wu Zhu taught martial arts to Fan Shan, he said that he did not know martial arts. But in fact Wu Zhu's strength was terrible. Wu Zhu is truly like a robot. He does not age, does not die, does not know pain. That year, when the Emperor of King united the temple to kill Yi King Mai, he made a deal with the Divine Temple and must erase Wu Zhu's memories. Therefore, after Yi King Mai died, Wu Zhu's memory was disturbed, most of Wu Zhu's memories were erased. But even when the Emperor of King knew that Wu Zhu had lost his memories, he did not dare to appear in front of Wu Zhu arbitrarily. Because he was afraid that once Wu Zhu suddenly recovered his memory, he would definitely take revenge for Yi King Mai. At that time, it will be difficult for the Emperor of King to escape death. That's why the Emperor of King did not dare to leave the palace, nor did he dare to encounter Wu Zhu. The third thing that made the Emperor of King afraid was the true energy inside his body. Remember, when Emperor of King first appeared, Bei Shi suffered an outbreak of true energy. The Emperor of King at that time was not a ghost, he was like a zombie. But his will was extremely strong and he overcame the most difficult period. It also brought him good fortune in times of trouble, and his success led to the Emperor of King being promoted to become a great grandmaster. So from then on, did the Emperor of King really become strong and invincible? The reality is not that simple. The martial arts that Emperor of King practiced had problems from the beginning. This was originally a scam by Yi King Mai. Because no one had ever cultivated successfully before. So the Emperor of King asked Yi King how he could avoid becoming a zombie. Yi King Mai said she didn't know. It wasn't until the Emperor of King reached the highest level of cultivation that he discovered this scam. It turns out that there is no such peerless martial art in the world that Yi King Mai talked about. It's just that after the Emperor of King practiced for many years, the blood vessels in his body were seriously damaged. The body of the Emperor of King became the object to contain all this true energy. So how can the Emperor of King live peacefully until now? The Emperor of King's entire body is supported by a type of true energy. But this type of true energy is in danger of breaking out at any time. In order to suppress the true key that continues to break down the blood vessels inside the body, Emperor of King, you can only stay in the palace every day to practice and suppress it. Long-term cultivation could not prevent the Emperor of King's condition from deteriorating. Even if Fan Shan didn't seek revenge from the Emperor of King in the future, I'm sure he wouldn't live much longer.